The Stone Age The Stone Age refers to the period of human development when most of man's tools were made of stone. Man used stone tools for many things such as hunting, cutting, digging and cracking nuts. The Stone Age is divided into three periods. 1. The Early Stone Age or Old Stone Age. 2. The Middle Stone Age. 3. The Late Stone Age or New Stone Age. The Early Stone Age. In East Africa, this stage lasted from around 1.5 million BC 1,500,000 BC to around 500,000 BC, 500,000 BC. The stages of evolution of man associated with this period are Australopithecus, Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Tools The tools made during this period were simple, heavy and crude. Australopithecus and Homo habilis made tools from hand-sized pebbles and blocks of stone. Man used stones to strike off flakes, small pieces, from other stones in order to produce tools. The tools made in this manner were used for cutting and digging. These tools included the chopper and the fist hatchet. These tools are called Old Owen tools because many remains were discovered in Old Uve Gorge. Other remains were found in Kafu Valley in Uganda, near Lake Turkana in Kenya and in Amo River Valley in Ethiopia. Later, Homo erectus made tools called Achulian tools. They got this name because Saint Achul in France is a famous site where remains of these tools were discovered. Unlike Old Owen tools, Achulian tools were made from large flakes instead of blocks of rock. Achulian tools included cleavers and hand axes. They were used to cut, skin animals, dig, cut branches and sharpen wood. Remains have also been found in Kariandusi, Alorjasail, Kilomb and Lua Downs in Kenya. Physical Features of Man The three stages of man's evolution associated with the Old Stone Age are Australopithecus. Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Australopithecus was hairy, with large jaws and teeth. He had a bony brow and no forehead. His brain capacity was 500 cubic centimeter, 500 cm to the power of 3. Australopithecus gradually evolved into Homo habilis. Homo habilis had a larger brain, 500 cubic centimeter 500 centimeters to the power of 3 to 800 cubic centimeter 800 centimeters to the power of 3, and a skull of the same shape as modern man's. He also had a less protruding face and smaller jaws and teeth compared to Australopithecus. Another major step was the increased distance between the thumb and the other fingers. This enabled man to have a better grip when making and using tools. Homo habilis developed into Homo erectus, an even more intelligent creature. Homo erectus was the first human ancestor to walk upright. He had a brain capacity of 700 cubic centimeters 700 centimeters to the power of 3 to 1250 cubic centimeter 1250 centimeters to the power of 3 and could communicate through speech. The accomplishments of Homo erectus led to the beginning of the Middle Stone Age. How man obtained food. 1. During this time, man hunted in small groups or bands. He used simple methods to catch animals for food. For example, he threw stones at animals or chased them until he caught them. Sometimes, large pits were dug as traps and animals fell into them. Animals could also be driven into swamps. When they got stuck they could be killed easily. The meat was eaten raw. 2. Man was also a scavenger. He at times ate the remains of prey killed by large carnivorous animals. Tools. 3. To supplement his diet, man gathered food such as roots, fruits and eggs from the environment. The Middle Stone Age started around 500,000 BC 500,000 BC and ended around 50,000 BC. 50,000 BC. This period is associated with Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Tools During the Middle Stone Age man improved his tools by reducing their size. These tools are called Sangone tools after Sango Bay near Lake Victoria in Tanzania. This is because several of the tools were found in that area. These tools were sharper, smaller and easier to use than those from the Old Stone Age. Man used the cores of small stones to hit big stones so as to make blades. 
Furthermore, he started using other materials such as wood and bones in making his tools. Tool specialization began during this period. Man-made tools such as spear points, arrowheads, knives, daggers, choppers and scrapers. There were special tools for hunting, skinning animals, cutting meat, cutting wood, pounding seeds and roots and cracking large stones. In addition, man developed tools with handles. An example is the tang found in North Africa. Scientists believe it was the first tool with a handle. The discovery of fire. Man could have discovered how to kindle a fire after seeing sparks when a stone struck another as he made stone tools. Ancient man lit fire by striking stones against each other or by rubbing a stick in a wooden grove. Fire brought drastic changes in man's life. It was used in the following ways. 1. Fire was used to scare away wild animals and thus keep man safe. 2. During the night, man used fire as a source of light. 3. Fire provided warmth during cold nights and seasons, especially in the mountainous areas. 4. Man used fire to cook his food. He cooked tough or poisonous roots and seeds to make them edible and he also roasted meat. Therefore, man was able to include a larger variety of foods in his diet. 5. Fire was also used to fell trees and clear land, making it easier for man to occupy new areas. 6. Fire was used to confine animals when man was hunting. 7. Some communities used fire to communicate. Fire or smoke signals were used to pass messages from one area to another. 8. Fire and smoke could be used to preserve food, for instance when drying meat. 9. Man used fire to harden the tips of tools such as spears, producing improved implements. 10. Later, man used fire to make gum soft. This gum was used to join tools to their handles. 11. When man discovered how to make pottery, he used fire to harden the clay. Items to make them durable. Physical features of man. Man had a bigger brain than before between 1,000 cubic centimeter 1,000 centimeters to the power of 3 and 1,500 cubic centimeter 1,500 centimeters to the power of 3. His increased intelligence is what led to the many developments during this period. He had smaller teeth and a well-rounded forehead. During the Middle Stone Age, human beings became more concerned about their appearance. Man began to make clothes from animal skins. They also applied red otter and oil on their bodies to make themselves more attractive. At this time, several families would live together to enhance security. The social groups were well organized and went on hunting expeditions together. These groups lived in rock shelters and caves. Animal skins were hung at the entrances to keep out the wind and rain. Examples of such caves are Gambles Cave in Kenya and Matupi Cave in the Democratic Republic of Congo. How Man Obtained Food The Middle Stone Age man hunted in groups. These groups, armed with better tools, could hunt large animals such as elephants, rhinoceros and buffalo. The large carcasses were sufficient food for the entire group and their families. After discovering fire, man could cook his food. During this period, man painted pictures of animals, especially the ones that served as food, on the walls of caves and on rocks. Such pictures can still be seen in Kondoa and Singida in Tanzania and Apollo 2 Cave in South Africa. Fun Fact Some Stone Age paintings have arrows piercing the animals, indicating belief in some kind of magic. Man believed that his paintings could influence his success in hunting. The Late or New Stone Age The Late Stone Age in East Africa lasted from around 50,000 BC 50,000 BC to the second millennium around 1500 AD 1500 AD. This period is associated with Homo sapiens and Homo sapiens sapiens. Tools During this period, man used better tools compared to those used previously. He made small sharp tools known as microliths. They were produced by grinding two stones against each other. The blades produced this way could be glued to handles made of bone or ivory. Examples of these tools were axes for cutting trees, barbed arrows and spears for hunting, sickles, saws, daggers and knives for cutting. 
A common microlith was the Lunador Crescent. It had a straight cutting edge and a curved blunt back. These tools made hunting, fishing and gathering food easier. Physical Features of Man Man had smaller teeth than in the previous stages. These teeth were adapted to eating softer food since man could now cook. He had a large brain capacity compared to his ancestors, between 1,000 cubic centimeter 1,000 centimeters to the power of 3 and 1,800 cubic centimeter 1,800 centimeters to the power of 3, and the shape of his skull was similar to modern man's. He walked upright on long straight legs and had less body hair than his ancestors. Major Changes in Man's Way of Life 1. Beginning of Agriculture the late Stone Age man domesticated plants and animals. This was necessitated by various reasons, for example the scarcity of prey due to climatic changes and overconsumption of animals by humans. To ensure that he got a constant supply of meat, man began to tame the young of the wild animals he hunted. 2. Creation of permanent settlements. Agriculture required farmers to settle in one area for a long time in order to prepare the fields, plant, Weed and harvest. Therefore, man was forced to build simple houses for his shelter. He used branches and grass to construct these dwellings. The walls and roofs were decorated with animal paintings. Consequently, man began to live in permanent settlements which developed into villages. This replaced the nomadic life in caves and rock shelters. 3. Development of social and political organization. As the early villages grew, there was a need for leadership or authority to regulate activities. For example, there was need for a system of distributing farmland fairly to all villagers and settling disputes arising in the villages. In this way, social and political ties developed, forming the basis for today's civilized society. In addition, not every person was involved in agriculture. Therefore, some people could concentrate on leadership and religious activities. Four. High population growth, agricultural activities led to increased availability of food. This in turn resulted in a high population growth rate. Difficulties in obtaining sufficient and reliable food supplies had hindered rapid population growth in the previous periods. 5. Specialization of labor and trade, specialization of labor is whereby different people do particular types of work. During the New Stone Age, Specialization of labor was at two levels. A. Uh, at the family level where men were breadwinners. This is to say that, they hunted or developed other occupations such as pastoralism or fishing in order to provide for their families. Women were responsible for taking care of the family, including all the domestic chores. B. At the communal level where some new Stone Age people opted to remain hunters and gatherers while some became pastoralists or farmers. Others who lived near water bodies became fishermen. This specialization of labor led to the development of a trade system. Trade helped to ensure that each group of people managed to meet their daily needs. For instance, toolmakers exchanged their items with the farmers in order to get grains for food and the farmers acquired the tools which they needed for farming activities. 6. Development of Art and Craft In the Late Stone Age Man developed various types of art and craft. These included painting, pottery, weaving and carving. Cave paintings were a way of expressing customs and beliefs. For instance, some paintings are believed to have been used during religious rituals. The items made by potters replaced stone and wooden utensils. Thus, man had better utensils than before. Man also discovered how to weave clothing materials from natural fibers such as flax. 7. Religion. The development of agriculture made human beings more interested in natural phenomena such as seasons and weather changes. It is also believed that people began to think about things such as life after death. These are some of the factors that led to the development of religious practices. Proof of such practices has been found in Njoro River Cave and Herricks Hill in Kenya. At Njoro River Cave, scientists found human remains buried with tools and seeds. This implies that people thought these things would be needed in the next life. 